needs to search. Uh, hi, I am Will Hutchins. Uh, I'm Stephen uh, Christodoulakis. My name is Ryan Stewart. I'm Jake. My name's Jave McEwen. My name's Adam Mountain. My name is Lee Galea. I'm the writer and director of Single Out. We were in the second lockdown in Melbourne and I had nothing to do and I was very bored. I needed something to write and I um, came up with the concept of a like a queer show with six main characters. It just came really quickly. It was like, um, I wrote it and I was really happy and I was showing it to some friends and they were like, yep, keep going. And then I started meeting actors. I'm playing a character called Adam. You find Adam at the start and he's a little bit sort of, he's coming to his own and then he's sort of kamikaze into this new world that he's trying to navigate with his friends. So, yeah. So I play Clayton, who is Adam's big brother. He's got a bit of a rough exterior. But he, he ultimately means well. He can come off a bit aggressive, but at the end of the day, I think he's just a big softie who, uh, who's trying to cover up for a few things that are rattling around in his noggin. So my character's Gabe. Uh, so he, he works at Bubbles, the car wash that, that they all kind of work at. And he's a bit of a nervous one. Uh, he, he, uh, he's actually on the autism spectrum, uh, which isn't too much of a giveaway, that's just who he is, so he's a bit of an awkward guy, uh, but he's, he's adorable and he's, yeah, he's very, very close to my heart. Marco is Adam's boss um, in the show. They both work together and they have a sort of very close friendship, but I think Marco likes a lot to, I think he thinks of Adam as a little brother. I think that Josh is, he's a very in-depth character because likes to show that he's got it all under control, but um, I think deep down he's really playing with some stuff in his head on who he is and who he wants to be. So Dazzy is a pretty flamboyant out there non-binary person. Uh, I think they are definitely on a journey to find someone, find love, I guess, uh, which is when they meet Marco. And that's all I'll say without spoiling anything. Yes. <laughs> I want to tell different queer stories from, um, with different types of characters. Some, you know, some are hopeless romantic, some are new to the whole gay world and is just trying to find out, like, what's it all about and, you know, the apps, the dating, going to bars or meeting people or going on dates and things like that. Some of it's based on, a little bit is based on me, some is based on my best friend and I just wrote different stories that are personal to me but I think a lot of uh queer people can relate to it and not just queer people that there's other stories that we tell and then we obviously went through a, quite a long rehearsal process through covid over zoom that was that was interesting and fun uh we're working you know efficiently but hopefully to a really high standard lee like being an lgbtq filmmaker you know that's the sort of content that you know we should all get behind and lee does it in a way that's not exactly it's more than that it's about character but he, he mixes all these things like really, really carefully and really nicely to create like this nice little, this nice little story. We kind of developed Gabe uh, together. And so a lot of what, who Gabe is, is a lot of who I am. So being able to get in character, uh, it's really easy and I really relate a lot to Gabe. And now getting to work with a lot of the crew and a lot of the rest of the cast, it's, it's all very surreal and it's very nice. I like it. So a lot of uh, my process for preparing for Marco and sort of um, developing his character was through a lot of conversations that Lee and I had about you know, people in his life who uh, Marco, the writing of Marco were influenced by and being able to jump into this with a really great group of people who are all just so warm and welcoming and you feel really safe and um, ha happy to explore things in the script, which is really exciting. Josh is a major part in Adam's coming out story and they they do have a they do have a special connection in the show. The cast and crew are lovely. Like everyone everyone just seems to gel together and when we're all in the same environment we work so productively. It has a bit of bit of banter on set. We get the work done but we have fun while we're doing it. Even if we're not needed there on that day, a lot of the time people are there to support the show, you know be a helping hand on set, carry things around, just make the process go a lot more smoother. And I think that shows that everyone is really keen and 
really wants to be a part of this show. Yeah. Um, I think what drew me to the part was I see a lot of myself in Dazzy. I think we've both been through similar circumstances and situations. I know I've got a lot of personal experience with some of the issues that Dazzy deals with. Um, being a gender fluid person myself, I think I have been able to, I don't know, connect with that kind of level a little bit deeper than others, I guess. This has been such a surreal experience. I feel very blessed and grateful to be a part of the show and be a part of this team. Everyone is so loving and talented and yeah, really beautiful people. So I'm, I'm feeling very grateful. I, I can say that it's definitely one to keep your eyes peeled for because, you know, Lee's created this world and he's attacking it from a new perspective that a lot of people might not have seen before, which makes it really fresh, really fun. And uh, yeah, so if at any way at all, if anyone's interested and you would like to support us in the show and hopefully going forward into season two and beyond, uh, that would be just like greatly appreciated. We'd all be super um, appreciative of if, if anyone could support the show. You know, we're in the middle of production and we're really keen to wrap this up, but we can, you know, we can do it with the help of everyone. Whether you're um, a part of the LGBT community or not, it's going to be one that is really going to uh, showcase a side of the, the community that hasn't really been shown yet. So it's, yeah, it's really good. I like it. It's just been really fun, very exciting. And I'm, I've even, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it, even though I was the one who created it. I'm just, I'm happy that I'm invited along as well because it's, it's very special. We definitely need to raise more funds to um, keep shooting the show and to finish it off. And we need all the help we can get. So if you could uh, donate, that would really, really help us and we'd really appreciate it. Obviously, support is going to make the show better than we can even imagine it to be. So I really want to take the time just to say, just support the show. We would love your support for our show. Uh, I think everything we're doing here is really important. The storyline is really important. And I, I definitely think we need to project these voices and these stories. So we'd love all your support at home, I guess. Yeah, if you can give us a hand, we'd absolutely uh, love your support. Thanks for your support. Thank you because like we're, we're working really hard to make the best possible show that we can. So, yeah. Let's oh, thank you. you.